as we begin this chapter of Matthew chapter 13, we are going to listen in the coming two Sundays again the parables of Jesus in this chapter. And today we focus on the first parable in which Jesus tries to communicate a message and to warn us about really being receptive to the message of God. And today, I would like us to focus only on the sower. You know, because normally, the previous year, we focus on the soil, we focus on the seed. But today, I would like us to focus on the one who does the work. Let's focus as we look at the farmer, what the first thing that we notice is that this farmer is not stingy. Uh, the farmer goes out, they were told, and he, stra he, he begins by, you know, what does he do? Uh, he saw, eh? he throws the seed everywhere he goes. You know? He's it will happen that there is power in the seeds he throws. He believes that there is going to be transformation. And of course, the, 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 the sower, he believes in what he does. And he demands growth. He demands change. So therefore, this first act of this sower is challenging all of us you know how is my attitude am i really generous with my life do i really have the same sentiments and feeling to share whatever i have with other people and this so what we are told about in this gospel it is god himself. God gives us. He's a giver. He gives us many things. First of all, he gives us life. He gives us blessings. He gives us many things. And we are always grateful to God. And God is challenging all of us to be generous. Mm. No? We have to be generous. <laughs> I don't know if you know the motto of boxers. You know, the people who are playing boxing, they've got the motto, you know, that it is always good to give a punch uh, to not the other person, but not to receive. You must they aim at giving. Always you must give, but not to receive a punch. So this is a lesson. For all of us today, really, if we desire to be happy, if we desire to understand the meaning and the purpose of our life, we have to be, we have to be people who are giving, you know, to give everything, to give our time, to give our knowledge, to give our understanding, to give our presence, to give our smile. To give everything so that the other person may benefit. Mm. <coughs> because if I'm stingy, I won't be happy. If I'm stingy, I won't have eyes that see the reality outside there. So, God is a generous giver. And we are called to be generous givers. And the second thing that we see in this sower, the second 
characteristics is that God is a God is is a joyful giver. You know, mudimo wafa ugashape ugashape ugaletabo. Mudimo onyaga orbe uye imi ne kika bakale ay gasha ne kwa mibitong ay gasha ne kwa tseleng ay gasha ne kwa mung ay gasha ka boka mo ka bakala rwa dumela orbe uye ito fetoga ito mela ito ntsani yenwa ke dinji isa go tshoba go gore e gashiwe ba le rena re a challenge wa le hono gore ana re na le moya wale tabona you know ka ba ka la re motho wa mona ga le le tabo a go fasilo o ra shera shero le ba o khono go gore he mpoye e tswa motho wa le tabo e se go motho wa go ngongorela ke mo na le ba thobanga motho ndi a go fasilo mara wa ngongorela modimo re a re feng ka le tabo and again the sowa is is he sows the seed hidden you know mulimi o olema ai kutile ka ba ka la ro jeso o ile a re motsa gore ge re ge re direla ba bangwe se a tlasaka mo se se ke sa bona se se dirwa mo ke se a tlasaka mo kwe ene gape modimo o tla go shogofatsa ge o ga o direla ba bangwe o sa botse ba ba must really not make a show of when we do good to other people a sowa is also humble mulimo wa ikokobetsa wa ikokobetsa ka ba kala gore o na le o na le patience mulimo ha filipino wa dumela gore be o yeo e tlamela ke ka ba ka leo a e gasha so a sower is patient and humble because he believes something will happen to the seed so we too we are invited really to be to be simple people to be humble people really and give and give everything give share with other people and really the more we do that we will be alive another characteristic of a sower is that a sower he gives with a heart full you know mulimi o fa ipeu wa hasha ka pelo ye o etletjeng ka pele yeo e dumela go gore ka nnete o fa motho mongwe bo phelo ke a mo fa se o senyakegago ka nna re ga re a bidetswa gore ri kopantse le modimo ka nna go tshohle gore di pelo re na di tlale le rato di tlale botho di tlale le tshogo fatso di tshogo fatso tse di khona go di abelela le ba bangwe and of course the more we we really share with other people we have from our full heart really we will see uh, some beautiful change happening in our life and another aspect is that the sower he sows without condition you know he does not sow the seed because of a condition he does not say oh i give you this because of this i'm going to get this no the sower gives without any conditions so we too we are invited really to have the same spirit whenever we share we must not have strings 1 2 3 4 5 6 strings that no I give you because I want to benefit something from you. Especially you ladies, you know how men 
when they feel they you are attracted to you, you know, they lie to you, ladies, bringing chocolates, bringing flowers, bringing gifts to say, hey, I love you, you are beautiful, oh, I want you to be my great girlfriend, and they shower you with gifts, but with strings attached, you see? And sometimes you find that it's not true love. And you ladies just take the, sh the chocolate and the, and the rose and run away, you see? Just take them and go away and enjoy them, you see? So that is not really a, a good spirit of a giver. We have to give with, with no conditions, just like God. When God gives, there are no conditions. God gives to any bad and good person. He gives without any condition. So God as well is always giving. God is always blessing us. You know, God does not really condition. God always blesses us. We are also challenged that we might, we might not be people who give only on occasions. We must not be occasional givers, but we must cultivate in us the spirit of being generous and always giving to other people. And in this way, really, my dear friends, we will be having we will have a joyful life. I hope some of you, you do you know the movie Ice Age 2? I don't know if you watched that movie. Ice Age 2. It was a movie, 2006, of a squirrel. You know a squirrel? A squirrel with the, with the tail. Eh? A squirrel always, this squirrel was was always in search of nuts and going around. And of course, the moment it sees a nuts, it gets excited and it will want to catch that nut. And as it catches that nut, it will see another nut and it wants to get all the nuts, you know, to keep the nuts to itself and seeds. And we are told, this is proven that the forest that you see all around, growing in the fields, they are the fruits of the labor of the squirrels. The squirrels, they pick nuts and seeds and they hide them, you know, and they hide them. And then tomorrow, they forgot where they've hidden the seeds and the nuts. And that is why many forests grow thanks to the squirrel. You see? So we, we as we too we are we are invited you know, to, to sow seeds of goodness, to sow seeds of love, to sow seeds of hope and joy to everybody we meet. And really we will see a growth of many beautiful things. So, as the Lord is giving to us, what must we do in return to thank Him? What must we do? Because the Lord is giving us life, is giving us oxygen, is giving us sun. The Lord gave us even a few drops of rain and snow and cold. The Lord gives us friends, family, community. God gives us many things. What must we do in return to express our gratitude to the Lord? What must we do? This is the question. LTO. LTO. That's what we must do. The first thing. As God is giving us so many things, we are invited to L stand for listen. We are invited to listen to God more and more. 
listen to him more and more. Because why must we listen to God? Because the world in which we live, when we open the television, when we open the radio, we always hear negative things. We always hear frightening stories. We always hear about somebody being murdered, somebody really being hijacked, somebody really, uh, what you call, experiencing difficulties. There is no good news. And this, good, this, this bad news, it really paralyzes us. So we are invited instead to listen to God more and more every day. Let us open the Bible. Let us open the Word of God. Let the Word of God speak to us. Let it challenge us every day. A man and a woman, in order to grow in their relationship, they have to listen to each other. You know, a lover, lovers, in order to grow in their love, they have to listen to each other. And sometimes there is no need of a word. We don't need to talk. People who love each other <coughs> just hold each other's hand and be together. Just be in the, in the presence. To be there for each other is more than enough. Listening to the Lord. We need that more than ever. We are living in a very noisy community. We are living in a busy community. And whatever keeps us busy does not bring peace in our hearts and in our life. So we are invited to listen more and more to the Lord. That is L. T. T stands for trust. We are invited to trust more in the Lord. No? If the Lord is blessing us with many things, therefore, He is going to do that even tomorrow. So we are invited to trust in the Lord. Not to trust in other <coughs> things. Not to tr trust in, in things of this world that passes. The Lord does not change. The Lord is always present. So let us trust Him. And lastly, O, L-T-O. O stands for obedience. Let us renew our obedience to the Lord. You know, the Lord is giving us the Ten Commandments. Let us obey them because there is life in leaving the commandments. So my dear friends, let us continue to ask the Lord to help us, you know, to help us to be generous people, you know, to help other people, and to be, to be good examples as Christians. Mudimu areshoko faje, kere wela magaborena, arefema fulu fulu. I would be a baba. I would touch a baba. I would go to a baba. We would be more to touch or a resonant. Yeah, now, let me tell you, yeah, me would say, yes, when I would have a way. Come on, 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 Rapa, Hova, Ba Christe, Mama Fulu Fulu. Lere, Rikai Puma, Rele Noshi, Rele, Rele Ba Christe, Mose Chabeng. Rese Kira Boifa. Aritu Ele Mpili, Osta Tsela, Yena Morena, Yena Mufi Wa Mpilo, Yena Mufi Wa Di Choko Fajo, Aritu Se, Aritu Choko Fajo, Misa Yose, Temo Pelo Bari. So my dear friends, let us continue to plant seeds. You know? Let us continue to plant seeds of love, joy, <coughs> happiness, and so forth, so that 
at the end of our life, you know, at the, at the end of our life is when we die, you know, uh, the Lord might not say, oh, but I don't see your, your name in the book of the living, you know, may the Lord really see all the good things we try to do and really it may be pleasing to him. So let us not be afraid to be good sowers, to give generously and to give always. May God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs>